everybody welcome to Patty's Polish Corner today um I'm doing a pineapple mani I I think it's a really cool design <laughs> I hope you do too I think I'm gonna do some um fruit designs um this summer so there might be another couple two or three of them so I hope you like them so right now let me show you a picture of what I created it and then I'll show you how I created it so let's get started I'll be using Wave Gel's Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel and Wave Gel's Snow Ice and um, Wave Gel's Mood um, Color Petal by Petal, which is kind of a, um, I don't know, <laughs> kind of like a fuchsia color to a lighter color pink, which is really pretty. First of all, I'm going to paint my ring finger. Um, that's the only finger that I'm going to paint in Snow Ice. So with gel polishes, you do want to get it on thin, but you can do this design with regular polishes as well. And the other nails, I'm going to um, use petal by petal. So I'm going to finish up and put this on the rest of my nails, and then I'll cure them, and we'll come back for a second coat. Okay, so I am going to... Um, apply the second coat. This petal by petal might need three coats. It's looking pretty sheer and it might need three coats to kind of even the lighter pink color up. You see the difference? So, and then I'll just put, I don't know what's going on with my white nail. <laughs> um, but that's okay because we're going to put a topper on it so we won't notice any of these imperfections that are showing up. <sighs> Not a big deal. We'll be fine. Two cuts doesn't look too bad, but I am going to go for a third because I do see that the nail line. So I'm going to go ahead and do the third coat. I mean, yeah, yeah, the third coat. Um, I don't think the white needs three coats, so we're good there. I'm just going to finish that up and come back. Okay, now I'm going to add Jelly's Fairy Dust, which I completely love, and Fairy Dust does come in regular polish as well. Thank goodness it comes in gel. <laughs> I was so excited when I saw that. I had no idea. So I'm just going to um, put the fairy dust over all of my nails. And this is looking so pretty. It's just a light dusting of holographic goodness. Oh, that's going to look so beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to um, to apply this to all of my nails and then cure it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have top coated the pink nails and not the white one, and I'm going to remove the tacky layer, and we'll be right back. I'm going to use one of my very favorite Westonia um, plates. It's called Beach Please. And I, I actually won this on Guileen 325's on one of her giveaways. And oh, I just love it. <laughs> Thank you, Guileen. And um, I think you can get these on Amazon. I'll look it up and I'll put a link um, where you can purchase it if you like this one too. 
Um, I'm going to use this little image right here. I am going to use hit the bottles, see what I green. I'm going to use my Queen Stamper from Walmart and I've already taken out the, um, the bottom. It's nice and sticky. And I just, um, I just want to mention some of you, if you have this one, it is super sticky and it will stick to your plates. Um, to get it not to come off on your plates, you have to make sure you see how this lip is up like that. That's what happens when you pick up your image. That'll happen. If you don't push it down before the next, um, and make sure all the way around is pushed down like that. Um, before you go and pick up your next image, it'll stick to the plate and probably come out of the holder. So I found, I found that making sure that that is not up at all. Make sure that's always down helps a lot. Actually, I haven't had any issues with it since I noticed that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little, um, this little pineapple right here and I just want the top of it. Of course, I'm going to get everything else around. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just going to scrape that and then pick it up. Okay, that's perfect. And, oops, sorry about that. I am just going to I'll try to get my camera to focus. There we go. I'm just going to put it at yeah, kind of an angle right up here. Oh, good. I'm so glad that didn't come off on my fingers because I was just thinking, oh, shoot, <laughs> I forgot to put liquid latex. So um, there we have my pineapple. Well, the top of my pineapple. Next, um, what I'm going to do is make a pineapple and I'm going to make it out of these um, hex glitters that I got from Glitter Unique. And these are matte banana hexes and they're um, point zero six two. I'm going to put a very thin layer of top coat right here. Where I want my pineapple to be so that the glitter sticks in it. We're going to make a pineapple out of big glitter pieces. I'm also going to use my, um, it's a silicone tool. I wasn't sure whether all of this is going to fit on here or not because my nails are pretty small. So I'm going to move, going to move it up a little. I think I was trying to find a little bit smaller. Actually, I don't know if I was going to be able to go with smaller glitters because I think the next size down was pretty teeny. And then I'll be sitting here forever <laughs> putting glitter on.
I actually think that's all that's going to fit on there. Um, but I think that's okay. I think it looks pretty cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that and then um, come back. Okay, and then the last step is to just cover the accent nail with top coat. Okay, so I'm going to cure that. We'll come back and take a final look. So here is the finished look. I I really like how it turned out. Um, yeah, I really like how it turned out. This is the um, warm color. So let me get it cold and I'll show you how it looks in the cold. And here's what it looks like when it's cold. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.